This is an overview of the pneumatics compression riveters used for squeezing solid rivets. Traditional air-only riveters are large, heavy, and have varying force. Pneumatics compression riveters are up to 50% lighter, 50% smaller, and have constant force over their entire stroke range. This results in lower operator fatigue and improved ergonomics. In this video, I'll show the operation and setup bleeding the system, and maintenance involved. Pneumatics rivet squeezers are the new standard in ergonomic compression riveting. They are the lightest, smallest, and most easily controlled rivet squeezers available. The squeezers shown are a C-squeezer and an alligator squeezer. These both can be connected to a pressure intensifier via a hydraulic hose and fluid tight quick disconnect fitting. Air at 90 PSI is supplied to the pressure intensifier, which converts hydraulic fluid to pressure of 4,000 PSI. A foot valve is further attached to the pressure intensifier with two air lines to a port at the low pressure end and a port at the high pressure end. Hydraulic fluid is forced up the hydraulic hose to the given squeezer. There are different sizes of C squeezers and alligators available depending on the force and reach required. For example, this is an NXC-9 9,000 pound rivet squeezer. This is an NXA-8 which has an 8 inch reach and produces 8,000 pounds of force. Both of these units are fully hydraulic in the portion being held and feature an integrated swivel double axis. The C squeezers accept industry standard yokes, and both alligator and C squeezer type accept rivet dies with standard 3 16 shanks. To demonstrate the action of the pneumatics riveter system, I have an alligator squeezer attached to the pressure intensifier with a foot valve controlling the operation of the pressure intensifier. The foot valve has the gover removed temporarily for this video. Air supplied to the pressure intensifier causes the hydraulic fluid to travel up the line and cause the jaw tips to close. If I close down on the foot valve fully, the jaw tips will close. If I press down on the foot valve part of the way, the jaws will only close part of the way. This is called feathering, which allows the operator to finally position the jaws before fully compressing the rivet. For example, there's a little more travel left here to go. If I push fully down, it will squeeze the rivet and release to release the jaws. To demonstrate the squeezing action of the pneumatics riveter, I have an NX4 and a traditional air-only rivet squeezer side by side. The NX4 is three inches shorter and three pounds lighter than the traditional unit. Both of these squeezers will be run at 90 PSI air for the demonstration. I've set up a set of test coupons in a vise and pre-installed different lengths of 1 8 inch diameter rivets. An AN470, 4, dash 5, dash 7, and dash 9 lengths. The first sheet has the dash 5s, the second sheet has the dash 7s, and the third sheet has the dash 9s in length. This traditional air only squeezer has been pre-adjusted to squeeze the dash 7 length in the middle. So, I position the squeezer over the unit and 
go to squeeze the rivet and it will squeeze the rivet. Notice that it bounced out the other rivets. That's partly because of the bear trap action of the rivet squeezer of the traditional unit. I push them back in place and I'll go to squeeze the dash five length and it starts to squeeze it but it doesn't quite finish the job because it's running out of force. It doesn't have constant force over the full stroke length. If I go to squeeze the dash nine length, it stops and doesn't squeeze it at all. Again, notice how, how it's tricky. I'm doing my best to, to slowly bring it in, but it really tries to pop, and that can cause uh, miss squeezes of the rivet. So again, in summary, it squeezed the seven, started to squeeze the dash five length, but didn't squeeze the dash nine length. To demonstrate the NX4 squeezer, I have it attached to the pressure intensifier, and I will show first it squeezing in the air just to show the control of the unit compared to the traditional squeezer. So if I press on the foot valve and calibrate my foot, I can, it'll come out fast or I can slow it down a little bit and I can get it to, to advance very slowly like this and stop or all the way forward. So because you're moving hydraulic fluid back and forth along the line and into the squeezer head, it is much more controllable than an air only unit. Now we've again got the rivets installed and to recap, the traditional unit squeezed the dash seven, started to squeeze the dash five, but did not squeeze the dash nine. So with the pneumatics unit, I will show, it will squeeze all three with no adjustment because the, the force is constant over the full stroke range. So first I'll come to this rivet, getting my foot positioned correctly. And, and bring it forward, okay, and squeeze that rivet. I'll come to the dash five length and squeeze this rivet. And come to the dash nine and squeeze that rivet. So you can see with no additional setup an adjustment of the compression pin, I can squeeze all three different lengths. This reduces setup time and increases the speed for squeezing many rivets. In closing, I've demonstrated that the pneumatics rivet squeezers are lighter, smaller, and produce constant force. Lighter means less fatigue for the operator. Smaller means access to more confined areas, and constant force means less setup time. I hope you've enjoyed this video.